If you want to customize the slideshow, uh, control the order, maybe change the name of the text at the beginning, instead of just playing the slideshow straight from the button right here, you can say create a new slideshow. And so you click the create button, and we'll talk about these other cool things you can create a little bit later. But to create a slideshow, you just go ahead and select it. It adds a slideshow. I'm just going to call this, I'm just going to call this SF Landmarks to give it my own custom name. And you see that changes the name of the text in the uh, in the actual slideshow. Here we can walk through the slides and see which specific slides are going to be viewable and scroll through there. Seems like there's a little redundancy here, so we can actually just delete, just clicking on those and pressing delete, and that's going to hide it from the slideshow. It's not going to delete it from the album. Uh, it's just going to delete it from the slideshow. We can rearrange the order by just dragging and dropping these. So let me put this one earlier, and uh, and at any point we can say, play or preview and preview is going to show the slideshow within the window as opposed to play which is going to dim the whole screen and show you the whole slideshow that way uh let's go ahead and escape that and uh once you've had once you get the slideshow exactly the way you want it and you're happy with it as all you want it to be you can click export and then this will allow you to actually export a movie and this is going to export basically a QuickTime movie, and you can choose what size you want it to be uh, based on these settings. And if we select one of these, uh, it'll get, tell you the information that it's going to be the H.264 codec. Uh, a bunch of stuff you probably don't need to worry about too much. Or you, if you're really concerned, you can do a custom export and go in here and make your own settings for however you want to save the quality of the movie. Uh, if you want to change the text at the beginning, just select the text slide here. And then you can go in here and change the name. Let's just say this is all of the Mission District. And then we change the name there. And then that's going to be stuck there, stay in there. At any point, you can add another slide. So let's say I want to go forward. That's the stuff in the Mission District. And then we go to another location. Um, well, let's just go ahead here and add a, a text slide here. In between these two pictures right here, I'm going to say add a new text slide. And I'm just going to say, name Dolores Park. And uh, so now we have a new text slide added there. At any point, you can go into this themes category here and change the slideshow theme that we're using. So if we don't, we no longer want to do Holiday Mobile, we can go to Scrapbook and assign that. Same thing with the music. We can choose a different song. Uh, you can choose any of these theme musics or from your own iTunes library. Any, um, any music file in your iTunes library will show up here. And you can choose that from there and assign that particular music to your slideshow. And then you can go into the settings again, as we looked at earlier, and say, how long do you want to play the slides? So all of these things that you can do to customize your slideshow in preparation for either just playing it on your own computer or exporting it into a movie that you can then share with your friends.